Welcome back to Shift Your Life Design with Tara Rudy. I am here as your host, and we are gracefully moving into week seven with small shifts of making healthier changes towards a healthier lifestyle. So if you've missed the six weeks, please take your time, go watch one video weekly, and start to integrate some of these small changes into your life and catch up with us. If you're still here from week one, Right on, you guys. Congratulations. I hope you're feeling some sort of success. And to have this video open today shows that you're still motivated to make some positive changes. So congrats and good job. Today's video is um, back on some dietary track. And we are focusing on a very valuable tool to health and wellness in not only weight loss, not only diet, but for our heart health, our cholesterol reducing, some say it can help minimize diabetes, it can help reduce colon cancers, it is fiber. There is two types of fiber, fiber that we look at in our diet and that's soluble versus insoluble. And I am no expert, but I am gonna read a little bit on both. So the insoluble fiber sources are your whole wheat breads, wheat cereals, wheat bran, brown rices, rye, barley, carrots, sprouts, turnips, cauliflower, apple skin. Insoluble fiber doesn't have as many benefits as soluble, but seems to be especially important to the normal function of the bowel. Soluble type, type fiber bulks up waste, moves it through the bowel more efficiently. According to John Hopkins at a medical center, fiber is a dieter's dream since fiber called cellulose and hemicellulose takes up space in your stomach, making you feel full. It takes, uh, we eat less and some people curb your appetite with fiber supplementations as well. So you can increase your fiber in your diet by adding another fruit or vegetable like we did in one of the weeks before, uh, eating salad to your daily uh, regimen. But some brown cereals, are lots of fiber is low in calories, so people will add it to their meals just to make sure that they're getting the value there. So sources of soluble, soluble fiber are your oat bran, oatmeal, prunes, beans, peas, rice bran, barley, apples, oranges, peaches, pears, strawberries, other citrus fruits, and some people use supplemental forms such as um, Metamucil, Citrusel, PGX, Xylem type fibers. They're good forms of soluble that can be consumed daily and they can be added to foods. And I educate my patients a ton on Metamucil. Metamucil, I even use it regularly when I remember um, to not only help my irritable bowels, but also it does help curb my appetite and I do feel like it's a good supplement. So if you're into breakfast with smoothies or if you're working on your water, add a tablespoon of some fiber, some soluble fiber and see how you feel after this week. Your goal is to try and add increased fiber and uh, soluble is the, the focus this week. So I want you to try and add that to your daily regimen. I'm not much for oatmeal. Um, I do eat nuts, but in moderation. So this week I'm gonna add a little bit more oat. I am going away to Saskatoon. I believe I'll have a option of a continental breakfast, and if not, I am gonna consider um, taking my Metamucil in my bag this week, and I am gonna start to drink some soluble type fiber to increase, and I love the routine once I'm in it. You have to go really slow with it because you can get very constipated and it can do the all, the opposite and cause more distress. So go slow. This week you start with one tablespoon um, in your water and you drink it down with an eight ounce glass of water. You can get a capsule but it also encourages you to drink water with that soluble um, supplement. 
So this week, let's keep score at where we're at. We are working on getting our 10 glasses of water, busting our food habits, and if you're still struggling in certain areas, let's go back to week two and look at what we're eating and refocus. Um, so healthy food substitutes like adding vegetables as a snack throughout your day. Exercise, um, we first worked on just starting t twice a week. Now we've integrated it to seven days a week. Some sort of exercise for 20 to 30 minutes. You are allowed to break. So using stretch stretches or yoga or low impact as your exercise is an alternative to feeling like you have to do a hard cardio strength. Daily focuses and positive affirmations is essential and that is where we recognize that you're good enough to make these changes. You are doing it for you to be better on the inside and for you on the outside too. Um, check yourself in. Make a checkboard on your calendar this week. Be proud of your successes. If you're able to stay in track with your foods, if you're able to drink your water, if you exercise, celebrate those successes. So this week, move yourself into closer understanding of fiber, both insoluble and soluble. And let's get bulked up and keep moving forward. Have a great week.